Some stories you hear about apes are frightening. You have things like King Kong and Charlton Heston telling you all the reasons that you should be afraid of them and that they're going to destroy the world. This isn't one of those stories. This is the story of someone special. It's the story of a chimpanzee named Simon and how he saved me when I was nine years old. Simon. He's a full-grown male chimpanzee, five and a half feet tall, life expectancy is 60 years, and his DNA more than 98% identical to that of a human. His closest relative, it's not a gorilla, it's us, it's humans. Simon's actually capable of combining words to identify new objects. For example, referring to a swan as a water bird, an Alka-Seltzer as a listen drink. Chimpanzees can even fly spaceships. That's right. On November 29th, 1961, Simon's grandfather, five-year-old Enos, was launched into space. Due to a malfunction in the capsule, Enos was given electric shocks for every correct maneuver he made. Instead of changing his behavior, he endured the shocks and performed the tasks he knew were right. A year later, John Glenn orbited the Earth. In March 1962, four million New Yorkers showered confetti over the astronauts. The astrotrems were not so lucky. Okay, that'll be all for today, folks. Lieutenant, have your men escort these civilians off base. I know, I know. Oh, you know. You know how illegal it is for non-military personnel to bring civilians on base? People need to see Simon and witness his intelligence if chimps are ever going to get the rights that they deserve. Yeah, or get me court-martialed. Dad. 
breathe. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. Close your eyes. Nice, steady breaths. This is what people call taking time out to relax. Come here. <laughs> you want to have dinner tonight? I'm picking up Miss Haddle and Brian from the senior apartments for a movie. Oh. So do you have them leaping over tall buildings in a single bound yet? Soon. I think it's amazing how you volunteer there. You've really turned their lives around. You're also turning around my waistband size. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Simon, you did so great. <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys out of this place, I promise. Just hang in there. Albert, sit. Here to vlog. For now. You bet I am. Your mom answers to me. <laughs> Sorry. Duh. Hey, eat your food. Just fill this out. I'm here for my test results. Last name Minchev. You're still gonna have to fill this out. I already filled it out last time and the time before. I'm just here to see Dr. Keller for my test results. I'm not here for treatment. And since that does say treatment form. Miss Minchev, please have a seat. Must be hungry. I feel like Mexican food. What about you? Sure, but after ice cream and movie, of my choice. It's Tuesday, remember? Okay. Miss Mincha, the doctor will see you now. Come on. Hey, Miranda. How's the lab treating you? Go see the nurse. I think she has some candy for you. Your mother and I need to talk. He knows he's sick. We're in this together. Just tell me what's wrong with my little boy. Miranda, I'm sorry. There's no easy way to say this. I want to come straight from the textbook. He has healing sarcoma. It's a rare form of cancer. Although radiation is only a futile option at this stage, it'll need to be explored. Radiation? That makes your hair fall out. The other kids already think I'm weird. You can quit school, honey. I'll stay home and, and we can watch TV all day, okay, baby? I'm not quitting school and I'm not getting radiation. I don't want to be a freak. Why don't y'all just leave me alone? Three to six weeks. Very pretty. In fact, 
Much too pretty to be scooping out after animals. Come on in here. Close the door. <coughs> Listen, these chimps need a real home. Yeah, they do. I couldn't agree with you more. What's going on? I've got orders from my commanding officer regarding the chimps and Dr. Sinclair. You've got plans? Talk to me. What, now. Riley, that's your name? Can I ask you a question? Um, you assume authority over these chimps, so it's why is it? I'm the only representative they've got. Now, answer my question. Where are you taking them? Uh, well, they're not citizens. They're just animals. Well, answer my question. Where are you taking them? What? Yeah, where are they going? Uh, all right, look, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. I I'll relay the information through your father, all right? But anywhere besides here has to be better. Make sure of it. I will do that. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, that's a real wild cat there. <laughs> Thanks for the tour, Colonel. Oh, and have the uh, specimens sedated and uh, ready for transport at 0800 hours. They're chimps. They don't need to be sedated for transport. They're very peaceful. In fact, you'll find they're very friendly. Well, I don't take wild beasts out in public without sedating them, Colonel. You know that as well as I. They can be very dangerous. So please, sedate them. What exactly are your plans for these chimps? I do research. What kind of research? Well, I run a pharmaceutical testing facility. You're a vivisector. No, no, these are special animals. They deserve better than to be in some torture lab. Look, 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 these are my chimps, all right? I want my chimps, Colonel. Oh, 0800. What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Just tell me what happened. It's gonna be hard for you to hear this. Tell me. He has permission to take the chimps and use them in a pharmaceutical research facility. What? No! That's what they get after 35 years of rotting in that cage? Experimentation in the labs? Clint, they deserve so much better than that. They're your comrades. They pioneered space. But you wanted to be an astronaut, remember? OK, Riley, they're yours. Where are you going to put them? Where are you going to house 142 chimps? I warned you about getting too close to them. Come on, don't. Don't cry. All the kids, the teachers, to everyone to get a shot. I hid, then I escaped. Well, then you want to see my pet ants? Sure. Ants don't ever need shots, or any other insects. They're all fine. Why are humans so dumb? Do you know that every ant has a piece of an idea? And as they all pass each other and touch, the idea becomes whole? Don't forget, who's the head of the school's genius program? You are. Ah! What's wrong? Oh my gosh, I have ants in my pants! Genius, huh? Albert, help me get off these jeans! What? I'm wearing a bathing suit! Pull! <sighs> Albert! <gasps> get dressed. Mom, she's dressed. She's wearing her bathing suit. Now I know why you like school so much. You know, Dr. Keller wants you in the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Okay. For now. Hello, I'm starving. How about tacos?
<laughs> Simon, some really bad stuff's been going on. No, the Colonel can't protect us anymore. We're gonna have to leave tonight. No, Simon, we can't go back to the base. We just need to find out where they're taking the others. Pizza, sausage, pepperoni, what else? No, thanks. I'm going to bed. Okay. At least take your meds. When can I stop taking the pills? Honey, they're helping you get better. Love you. Love you too. Well, where's little Albert? He wanted to wait in the car. Kids are usually afraid. They don't understand. Anyway, down to business. Latest test results show no change. No change at all. Drugs aren't strong enough. He hates them. He feels better without them. We need to start chemotherapy. <sighs> oh, no, just leave me alone. I told you not to ride your bike anymore. Do you have any idea how sick you are? I should put you in the hospital, like the doctor says. Why aren't you at work? Your mother, among other things, is always working. You see that truck? It's a new load of chimps I'm inspecting. The senior $600,000 med, not to mention his name, Butthead's kids are sick. They have the flu. I'm sitting him down, grossly humiliating him, just within the confines of the law. And when he begs, I'm gonna ax him. <sighs> Come on, let's get this truck to the lab so we can go. Why do you need to inspect the chimps again? To make sure they're not sick. I don't want them infecting the other lab animals. Get them all on okay? There are a couple misbehaving, but they're good to go now. Okay, follow me. I'll take you up to the lab. Got it. Regardless, you can't get out like this. You gotta get some clothes on you. At least see you, you know, get your butt in jail pronto. <laughs> no hable es pronto. Ah, uh, there now, at least you're street legal. 
Riley? Oh my God. Is it really you? <laughs> Is this big boy Albert? Hi. You know, I knew you when you were just a baby. You weren't much older yourself. I was after you were through with me. Can I play with the locator? Sure. It's malfunctioning anyway. It's in the car. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I know just the place. Come on. He's beautiful. And he's a straight A student, too. Would you believe that? Just like his mom. It's really good to see you. I thought about you a lot. Are you okay? You seem really sad. I've had some hard times, to say the least. Albert's sick. He has cancer and it's spread. He's gonna die. Miranda, listen closely to me. There's a way to fully regenerate his body in six months. No dangerous procedures, just yoga and raw food. Riley, Albert is terminally ill. They've given us three weeks. It's simple. You know they make plastic? They heat up oil. It's the exact way that humans eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Chemicalized and poisoned plastics heated over metal. Just because somebody says that it's food doesn't make it so. If you eat poison all day long, <sighs> Riley, it's... you'll get sick and you'll stay sick. And if you want to get better, don't turn to knives and radiation and drugs. Just stop taking the poison. Okay, without doctors and dentists, wild animals, they live in perfect condition. The only fundamental difference between us and other species is they're raw and we're cooked. Riley, cooked food didn't give my little boy cancer. I gotta go. Call me. No man. He was an animal. Simon! <laughs> 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 oh, Simon! I told you not to do that! Oh, I'm sorry. Look at you here. Why is a ghost? <laughs> Simon just has a wicked sense of humor from all those tasteless movies he watches. <laughs> and another thing? You're going to be fine. Wow, I haven't heard that one before. Everyone else just tells me I'm going to die. Well, they're wrong. There's a way to get you better. <laughs> Come on. This place is a nightmare. Psychos. We're gonna need this. Hey! You need to read that. Disease research is a big rip-off lie. All this testing. No disease has ever been cured from cancer, it's the common cold, even the athlete's foot. Polio was cured. 
says here polio is no cure. Measles? 20 million people are affected by measles each year. Throw that thing out the window now. But that's littering, Mom. Yeah, well, spreading those lies is litter. Hey, dude, can you do something about this? Are you okay for school? You sound so gloomy. Well, I just found out that my prognosis for a painful early death will now involve lethal doses of radiation. My hair will fall out and I'll soon become too weak for school. I'm not going to school with no hair. Well, anyway, I'll quit school and retreat to the hospital and die a radioactive death by nine. If I'm lucky. It'll be okay. No, it's not. It's all as bad as it can be. They tell me any day now it's about to get worse. I will be. I told you not to do that anymore. I'll be back. I want to go with you. You're not allowed in the lab, and you know that. Why not? Because I said so. I apologize to Jesse. Sorry, I made you cry. Oh, Albert, it's okay. I'm so sorry. That Dr. Sinclair guy took Simon. I think he's gonna kill him. Come on, I know where they are. Let's go. Right, stop. You need to get a grip on reality. Dr. Sinclair didn't take Simon. You did. Obstruction of justice. Theft auto. Breaking and entering. Larceny. Resisting arrest. $50,000 bail. You could go to prison. This ends here. Now, I've been here for three hours. I've gotta be up in another two. I'm not bailing you out again. Simon is truth. He, he's knowledge, he's a way to make the world a better place. Once I get him in front of the right officials, they'll see his abilities and animals will gain new rights, which will lead to greater consciousness, which will all lead to the shift. I mean, it's the only hope this godforsaken world has. I need your help. What do you think, you're gonna save the world? 
Do you know who you're up against? Now these monsters, they will jail you. They will stick you in a loony bin. They'll bury you in a bogus car accident. That's the way they work, and I'm not gonna let them do that to you. So you're not even brainwashed. You're just afraid. You know, you're all fighting against the one thing you claim to protect, the weak and the innocent. this one. At this rate, these three won't last through the day. I'm gonna order some more. Maybe we can get a rush delivery on it. Get me some babies. Got a few things I wanna try. How many you want? Half dozen. minutes. 
Albie's got the food thing covered. So. Oh, but there's so much more to it than that. We have to check the medicine cabinets underneath the sink. Everything needs to be replaced with non-toxic alternatives from the health food store. Better yet, you can use natural ingredients like honey, a shampoo. Does that even bubble? The ocean's dying because we need bubbles. What about hair conditioner? Just a little lemon juice and warm water. Your hair will be silky smooth, I promise. Did you get that blender? Yeah. I want to show you how to make milk from scratch. It's so easy. Just some nuts. And honey. And some water. Okay, go ahead and pour that. Get the other stuff out. Smell that. What is it? Sage. Makes a great all natural air freshener. No trash, no industry. What about deodorant? There's really all kinds you can use as long as it's organic. Toothpaste? I like to use just straight tea tree oil, sea salt, trace minerals, maybe some neem, a little bit of ground cloves, just mix it all together. Do you know when kids toothpaste, on the back it says, keep out of reach of children? What? Yeah, the amount you use when you brush your teeth, if you swallow it, they say to contact poison control immediately. Uh. <sighs> Who taught you that about aloe? My mom's friend, Riley. He also works his hair down. Well, what's your reckon, dear? lifestyle is just too hard it was for about the first week during transition but now I don't know how I lived the other way before at all thank you you're welcome you're gonna be fine I gotta go you can keep all the stuff peace okay. Simon's in trouble. I need your help. Can I do? I'm just a kid. Ow. We're just kids. Simon's at your mom's lab. What? My mom's lab? I need you to get her badge tonight. I'm sorry to get you guys involved, but Simon doesn't have much time. We need to get him out immediately. You get the badge, and I'll do the rest. I have some cool spy stuff I can bring, too. And we're little, so we can fit through any bars. This isn't a game, kids. I'm sorry, but you can't come. That lab is ginormous. You'll never find him without us. Well, you can make me a map. We both go or no deal. You need us and you know it. All right, you win. I could use a guide through the lab, and you are pretty small. I'll pick you up at eight. Check. So is Simon some kind of super chimp? Actually, yeah, he comes from a long line of chimps that used to work for the humans. His dad was named Enos. They were astronauts. I wish I could be an astronaut in space. You're free to do whatever you wish. Yeah, Albert. <sighs> I'll pick you up at eight.
chip out. Stolen, that's what I mean. And it happens to be the very animal I specifically instructed you to lobotomize. Why didn't you perform the surgery? Thought I would use him for testing first, seeing as he was a perfectly good specimen. When I tell you to do something, I have my reasons. You have no idea what trouble you have caused me. Mr. Minchef, uh, did anyone else have access to your badge last night? Say around midnight. Because the computers here at your lab show that somebody was here. And although your cameras don't show it, somebody was in your building. Look, this is my center. Why would I see? My center. OK. Well, I run the center. Well, that's debatable. Just tell these detectives to talk to the protesters outside and stop wasting my time. OK. There's obviously a glitch in the system. My badge was with me all night, and I never left the house. She didn't take the chimp. I know that for a fact. She does run things around here. But please, find this animal before he hurts somebody. Chimpanzees, when they attack, they usually go for the groin 
or the face. Believe me, I can testify to that. And if I may make a suggestion, it would be to order your men to shoot it on sight. On sight? On sight. If you think of anything else, Miss Blinchev, give me a call. Uh, Miranda, before you leave, don't you have a son? Yeah. I have a little boy who's terminally ill with only weeks to live. You think he stole a 450-pound vicious rabid beast? Like if I were hungry now, which I am. What's she doing? doing? Just honey? Albert, he's right. Honey is a perfect antimicrobial meaning it doesn't support mold, fungus, or yeast. And in your current state, I'd say it's just what you need. <laughs> hey. It's pretty good honey. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's great. Like a fork right here. worried I've been. Why didn't you call me? Have you been in the sun? Um, no. Don't you lie to me. Look at you. You're, you're tan. Simon says the sun is the source of all life on the planet. Simon sure has a lot to say. Well, he's my new friend. Yeah? Well, when do I get to meet this friend or his parents? Um, you've met Simon and he doesn't have any parents. He doesn't have any parents. They're in prison. Why? Um, the government put them there for discovering space. Alby, how do you come up with this stuff? I think I've got you on too much medication. Oh, and, uh, can my friend borrow two dollars and stay for dinner? Are you Simon? Mom, this is Eli, not Simon. Hey, listen, kid, just the cash, okay? Uh, dinner doesn't smell too friendly. Great, thanks. Well, have a good night. Thanks. You know, Genesis 129, and do unto the smallest of his creatures as you would Is do this unto the thy Lord Almighty. You dinner. Thank you. Goodbye. How could you have your pudding if you don't eat your meat? Bye. Okay, I admit it, he's really weird, but he's my friend, and he's also really smart. Albie, don't you hanging out with adults? All right. Say grace, honey. Simon says eat living foods. What about an apple or salad? We kill them to eat them? That's what I thought. Then Simon showed me picking an apple doesn't kill the tree, and picking a leaf doesn't kill the plant. It actually helps them by spreading its seeds, giving us watery food and oxygen. Well, what do you want to eat, Albert? We need real food, Mom. It comes from the earth or a tree, not a tin can or factory. All right. I'll talk to the doctor, okay? In the jungle, heavy animal cries always fill the air. The babies were taken from the jungle into the city, and then something happened. What, what, what happened? What? The humans took one of the babies to a place he could barely understand or even comprehend. Where? Space. 
The baby could actually see the earth itself from outside the window. Many were sent, but he was the only one to return. He was called Enos, <laughs> the one, Simon's father. More on that story later when we go live direct from Cairo. But first, it's time for our Here's to Your Health segment with Ariel Michaels standing by at the Food and Drug Administration with some quite astonishing news. Ariel. Yes, Bill, thank you. I'm here at the Food and Drug Administration in Washington, D.C., where Swedish and now American scientists have discovered that a cancer-causing chemical known as acrylamide is in practically all processed foods. So what does the public do to avoid the chemical? Well, Bill, scientists warn that while organic does remove the toxic pesticides out of the equation... You're late. Again. Do you take your medication? Simon says don't take drugs. You really hate the pills that much, huh? Well, then you don't have to take them anymore. Are you really serious? I wouldn't joke about something like this. No pills anymore, ever? But it'll make you happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mom, please don't do any bad things. What do you think I do that's bad? Just be nice, OK? OK. Afternoon, Miranda. Hey, little Albert. Um, we need to administer some drugs before we can start his first round of radiation. He's going to be here for a while so we can monitor him, make sure there's no kidney failure or any other complications. Doctor, can we take a blood test first? Miranda, tests are done. Be strong. Look at him. He feels better. He's like a new person. He started this... Simon Says stuff, and this crazy healthy diet, and well, it... Simon Says. Look, I realize where you're coming from. We are allowing corporations to feed our children carcinogens for profit. I feel personally responsible for his sickness, as a, as a parent, but also as a civilized human being. He needs this treatment to save his life. 
How about a way of saving his life that doesn't involve the possibility of Miranda, killing him? Your son is dying of a disease. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to accept that fact as a reality. Look, Mom, no hands or feet. Nurse, run a full analysis on Albert so this woman can see the truth. Yes, Doctor. I don't understand. It's impossible that this drastic of a, a, a remission could take place. Oh. Only the Oaks is a miracle. Oh, thank you. Cancer that spreads every part of the body can't possibly be cured in a couple of months without medical treatment. Baby, <clears throat> can you wait for me outside, okay? I just want to talk to the doctor. Don't go anywhere. An apple a day really does keep the doctor away. There's just one problem with that, isn't there? You can't sell it, can you? You know, I looked up the ingredients used in the food served in schools and hospitals and cancer wards. According to the FDA, they're 98% carcinogenic. It's all just a sick facade. You want some lunch? Hi, Simon. Um, all right. Wow, the tomatoes dried fast. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is something wrong? We need to get back to the lab. I'm sorry, we've already asked so much of you, but there is something else. I would do anything for you or Simon or any other chimpanzees. You truly are brave and noble. I've never met such a real man.
Simon. Simon. of all life on the planet. Yeah? Well, when do I get to meet this friend or his parents? Um, you've met Simon and he doesn't have any parents. He doesn't have any parents? They're in prison. communicate and feel and want to live. Simon is a competent and literate witness who's ready to testify and press charges against that monster. I own this animal, detective. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair, we're all animals. And this one speaks sign language and is ready to press charges against you now. A detective, please make a report. Protect this victim against further harm. <coughs> you know the DA, he's building a case against Dr. Sinclair. Bribes to get your hands on the astro temps? Ties to poachers in Africa? This lab will get shut down and you will go to jail. These accusations are ridiculous. These women stole classified specimens from my lab. One of them I employed for the last 10 years and paid a lot of money. You're talking about money. See, that, that proves it. You're, you're hiding something. She stood there and stared us right in the face and lied. Not to mention she involved a child in a crime. That's a felony, I believe, Detective. I'm well aware of the law, Mr. Sinclair. I am too, and I know my rights, and I want my property back. My chimp. They think and feel just like we do. It's not testing. It's torture. He <laughs> saved my son's life. He is an innocent, defenseless animal that needs your protection. <laughs> the chip is his property. Belongs to him. No, he belongs to no one. Simon, do you belong to him? <laughs> no, he has a right. He has no rights. Belongs to him. Free man. I am not chaining him up. <laughs> well, I guess you can wait in the car. Oh, oh no, guess again. Washington. The chimp belongs to him. <sighs> you know what? Link arms. Come on. <sighs> what? I pledge allegiance to the flag <laughs> of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation <laughs> under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> well, that's our Pledge of Allegiance. So whose law are we enforcing right now? Who are we really working for? 
The chimp is mine, detective. Now get out, take the people with you. Take them! <laughs> okay, let's go, everybody. It's over. Come but he's on. going to kill him. You're the police. Protect him. It's your job. I can only protect you and your mother now. Just get him out of here. Get him out. Okay, let's, let's get him out. Let's get him out. No, 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 no Simon! <laughs> Just get them out of here. This is my land, right? Want someone else? <laughs> Colonel. Dad. Take it easy there. Yes, sir. Please, please. He's gonna kill Simon. You've gotta do something. Colonel. Please. I never knew what a true warrior was. I thought I did. I thought it was me. No fear, no surrender. So, as your commanding officer, I'm giving you an order. Attack. And guys, I'd watch it if I were you. In her 25 years, my daughter somehow always gets her way. All right, get out. Everybody vacate the premises. This is getting ridiculous. Get out of here. Soldier, fight. Be the warrior, an animal, attack. I said vacate the premises. A warrior knows no fear, only glory, giving every last drop of blood for the good of man. Sure, go ahead. Arrest a girl who's trying to save an animal who wants to live in a world that wants to die. Come on, arrest her for love and compassion. Riley, through you, the animals have their voice. Not this animal, Colonel. Why this chimp from all the others, Sinclair? Why? because of what Simon can do for chimpanzee right across the board. Doesn't sound too good for the chimp import business, huh? I'll tell you why. You want to know why? Look, I'm not the criminal here. Dr. Sinclair, I just got a call from headquarters. There's an indictment for your arrest. What? Put your hands behind your back. All right. You think you're clever? Great. You know what? You just don't know. Go. Hey, take it Thanks. easy, take it easy. Oh, stop, stop. Simon, get up. He wants to shake hands, Sinclair. Don't be afraid. It seems Simon's the only one civilized enough to not choose violence.
cute little monkeys. <laughs> Who knew? Um, I'm a doctor, a good doctor. I want to help him with his arm. I think it's out of socket. Yeah, please. Let me. It's out of socket. Let me just. There you go. Let me see this. Okay, look. Yeah, let's feel something, right? There. There you go. Yeah, that's in. That's in. You're good. something. Simon didn't just save me. He also saved my mother. He saved Riley. And he even saved Dr. Sinclair. Dr. Sinclair still went to trial and was sentenced, but I heard he got out early for good behavior. Last I was told, he went to Africa and he was running a family clinic. My mom and Riley, they're still friends. And they opened a veterinary practice in 2005, and it's been going pretty well ever since. As for Simon, he's safe. He went to live with other chimpanzees at a wildlife conservation center, and he's never been happier. I haven't seen him in a few years now. But I'll never forget him. And as for mankind, there's still a long way to go, but we'll get there.
must be strong Because Simon says The fight will go on